There are quite a few trials now, several trials which have shown that the immunity after the first and the second vaccination gradually comes down. Now, how much time it takes for the immunity to go down or the antibody levels to go down? It varies from place to place, from country to country, from in different individuals, depending on your age and a lot of other things. For example, in older individuals, it would come down faster. So if, let's say, on an average, you would say that the immunity would last six to eight months, that is the rough estimation in the studies that have, have come through so far. Although you require much longer follow-up period to be very sure about this aspect. But roughly it is presumed that six to eight months, probably even longer, would be the answer. Uh, but it varies so much. Uh, now, if the last wave that or the last vaccination in India, now I'm giving the example of India, was done uh, in the summer. In fact, it started in uh, January, uh, something like 13th of January, I think. So then people, the healthcare workers and the frontline workers were vaccinated, let's say, in the month of January and the second dose in February or March. We already have nine months now to that. So we all probably are already vulnerable. Yes. But if we have had a COVID disease also in the meantime, and lots of us had, then we probably would have more augmented antibodies because we took subsequently uh, uh, the, the, the vaccinations also. So probably we, we are still a bit protected, but we are not sure about that. So first of all, you, we are not sure how much the T lymphocyte response would persist in the body. What we look at is only the antibody level, which may come down, but still on it may come down on paper, but in vivo in the body, the T lymphocytes may still be protected, and you certainly do not lose control of your um, uh, you know your uh, immunity. So what I'm saying here is uh, now we in India people are after having vaccinated in got vaccinated in summer they will be reaching a stage that in the first quarter of 20, uh, 2022 that they will start to become vulnerable again, all right, if they have not yet done. Now, the test, uh, the, the studies so far done on, for example, mRNA vaccines like Pfizer, like Moderna, after having received um, the vaccine by AstraZeneca, there's a big study which is more respected in the UK where they gave the booster with Pfizer and then they studied the effect. It was found that it certainly improved the, the response uh, in, in augmenting the an antibodies and thereby presuming that the efficacy would be much better after the third shot. So even those uh, 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 countries where two uh, Pfizer doses were given, the third booster by Pfizer, again augmented the antibodies, um, which had dropped to some like 35%, back to 75% in case of Omicron, because the worry was that Omicron is, is evading the immunity by previous disease or by vaccinations. So that is true. So the vaccinations are not as effective as they were against the original Wuhan virus or the Delta virus and other variants. But uh, certainly uh, giving a third dose so far in all the trials have shown that the, the response is much better and the risk for falling in, into a severe disease or death is significantly reduced. That is why we, we are looking at the, the uh, booster dose or whatever you may call it, what the Indian government has decided to call it.